sensation to a chart-topping tabloid target who's not afraid to get loud with the paparazzi or other pop stars, and she's taking America by storm with her new CD, It's Not Me, It's You. Please welcome Lily Allen. <laughs> Truly yes, are you. sensational. I mean, you were you were one of the first musicians to just explode on MySpace, and so many of them use that now, which I think is a great tool for them to get started. You sold more than 2.5 million albums mm -hmm. the first time around, mm -hmm. and wow. despite all of your, I mean, raging success, you weren't even you weren't sure that you could turn around a second one. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I think I, I took a bit of a you know a beating from the press like the first. Round and I kind of it kind of knocked my confidence a little bit. And yeah, I kind of, you feel like it, there was a backlash. I felt like right? I became like more famous for being, I don't know, like a train wreck than a, a singer, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what people kind of knew me for. And I just didn't really um, think that I was capable of writing songs Did and making music. Really love? No. <laughs> really, a lot of people talked about, you know, your behavior because mm -hmm. you've gotten into spats with the paparazzi. You've had words for, you know, for your uh, fellow pop stars. I, well, I don't want to say fellow pop stars, but with other artists, uh, Katy Perry and uh, Amy Winehouse, Perez Hilton. Do you have a problem with those people or? Uh, no, I mean, there's those individually. Katy Perry, I don't have a, an issue with her at all. I don't, she doesn't really relate to me in any way, yeah. but she um, did say something about me which I found offensive and I, and I'm, I, I was open and honest about you that. Okay. Yeah. You also, there was something, uh, you, you were up on the podium with, with Elton John mm -hmm. and kind of got into it with Elton John. Uh, now, was <laughs> are you guys friends or are you yeah, met him? <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? Champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Um, he is actually, um, he, he, I don't know how to put it, he kind of runs my management company. Well, his, my management company is owned by him, so that's, okay. that's why we ended up presenting that award ceremony together in the first place. And we, to be honest with you, I didn't even know that there was an issue until the next day when the, you know, the tabloids made this big story about it. Like, so as far as I was concerned. Because we just saw you there pouring, I don't champagne. know, champagne. champagne. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you said, you know, people think you're a train rep and we have some video uh, that shows uh, the paparazzi, I guess we do, uh, that show there you go. And the relationship with the paparazzi has made your private life mm -hmm. public. But this is what they've called you. I'm quoting, this is not me, darling. Okay. Mm -hmm. A fall down drunk, an exhibitionist. Some have said, you are crazy, you are a train wreck. <laughs> what do you say to all of this? You must have done something think, that you know brings what? these I charming remarks out. I think that, um, Young women are represented in a, in a way that isn't really true. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that if a, if a young girl is pictured having a drink, she's a drunk. If, it's, if, this, if the same happens with a guy, it's not necessarily portrayed in the same way. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, I'm 23 years old. What are most 23-year-old girls doing at this point in their lives? You've been suing. Uh, you have took legal action against the paparazzi, and you mm -hmm. filed a court order against them. Well, well how's, how's that going? <laughs> it's actually changed my life completely. Like, I can walk. I've never walked my dog before. Um, until so now, now they stay away from you? They're not allowed to come anywhere near my house. They're not allowed to follow me. They're not allowed to follow me in cars. Well, you handled it. You handled it. Sure. Yeah, well, you know what? They rear-ended my car. They crashed into my car, and it, and it put other people in a dangerous position. Did, did and that was, of, that was the end of it for Did me. a lot of what we're talking about today put you into therapy? I was reading, you're very open about ther being in therapy. Did, mm -hmm. did this drive you into therapy? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I've been in therapy for a long time. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Therapy is kind of like, is a hobby for me. I mean, I just really enjoy it, you know? It's a hobby. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. She's really, she's really, she's going to be delighted to hear this. Yeah. I'm interested in it. I heard a funny, a, a quote, and I'm, so I'm going to ask you if it's true. Is it true that you said that you wanted to maybe stop this and go and get married and have a baby and just have a regular normal life? Yeah, I mean, eventually, eventually that's the idea, you know? I don't, it's, it's, it's life in the fast lane at the moment. It's, it's high energy, it's go, 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 but it's not something that I could do forever. Right. I yeah. just go. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you could stop and come by and talk with us. And we know you're on Twitter, so we're going to be following you okay. and following those scavenger hunts you do for all of your fans in every city. And Lily will be back later, actually, in the show. She's not going anywhere too soon to sing her current hit, and we'll be right back. Thank you.